Hi all. Welcome to the STH week 4 day 1 online QTP training course. So let's start with our session. Now assignments. Harita and Sri, do you have questions? No sir. Okay. Sri, do you have any questions? Till now? No sir. Uh, okay. Yeah, not from me. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Okay. So today we will be covering the inbuilt functions and methods supported by QTP, then checkpoints, output checkpoints and the code which we need to connect which is required to connect with the Excel we will learn that code as well and then we will see also our automation object model which we will be using for our wrapper code. Okay. Now inbuilt functions. Okay. In the last class, we covered some of the functions like mid, u-bound, l-bound, trim, length, array and split. Now today we will covering some of them which are very important. Okay, see one by one. Now we will see the in string function first. Okay. In str. This. In string return the position of the first occurrence of one string within other another. Okay. I will show you the example first. Then we will go into to the theory. In string. Okay. So in string, let's say we have a string, and str, we have uh, Harita is asking, uh, do we remember all these functions? Yes, yes. Yes, you need to because the reason being that that situations comes when you need to do some manipulation with your data, test data. In that time, these functions are very helpful. Okay, these functions are very helpful, which 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 give you an option to how to manipulate with your test data. Okay, so you need to remember just how to do it you need to know the method that's it you all get into the help okay Harita? okay now in a string let's say in a string str1 we have vb scripting vb scripting is used by QTP okay now what I'll do start start is your optional okay if you want you want you can put okay string is our str1 str1 comma the string which I need to search in str1 okay 
so let's say I have to search used okay and I'm closing this now I'll run this B okay I'll run it then you'll get to know that what is there you can say that the output is zero now let's see okay it returns the position of the first occurrence of one string within other okay so string one string expression to be being searched in our case it is this string okay and we need to search this string used okay now what it will return this function will return the position where it matches if it is matches then it will return you zero you can see here string 2 is found within string 1 then position at which match is found okay so whenever it finds a string into your searched string then it will return zero okay or position at which the match is found okay what if it is not there now let's see this is the case returning zero yes okay okay mm. str1 Okay, you can see here that we have used STRI1. STRI1. And we are here, we are passing STR1. That's why it is returning 0. It is not returning the position where it will found. I'll run it. Now you can see that it is not found any result that that is why it is returning zero now if I put used then it will return the position I'll pass used I need to search this string if it is matched then it will return the position you can see that 16 1 2 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So here from here it is finding. Okay. So it will give you the position at which it will occur in your search string. Okay. Now we'll see the another function. Do you have any questions, Harita, Mangla and Sri related to in string? Shri Harita Mangla If there are two used There are two, two used Okay, it will show you the first one It will show you the first one Okay Okay And you need to try all this I have given you this example Okay, position at which match is found you need to try all this permutations and combinations okay so that you can learn more about this string function okay mm. mangla is having questions 
so it will find the position of the search string yes mangla it will only find the position of the search string that's it from where it is matching okay it will give you the position that's it is it okay mangla please type in the chat window she is having question so qtp search from an string then used for executing another function search for so qtp search from an string then you use for executing another function i didn't get your question she can you please rewrite your question it look for position let's say you want to search a string where you need to find out that whether the search string is there in the there in the string where you are searching you want to know that whether the string is there or not if you get to know the position then you can do the manipulation based on that right it look for position only that's it now let's say now let's say you have a mercury web application right i'll give you a demo i'll give you a demo okay let's say you have this page okay now what i'll do i'll store something i'll i take an object in the object repository first okay now let's let's see this uh it's not recognizing this thing uh, mm. close this just a moment ha huh? i need to open the mercury web application first then i'll give you a demo okay uh. okay i'll stop object repository
ओके नाउ मैं कोई नाउ व्हाट आई हैव टू डू व्हाट आई वांट टू डू दैट आई वांट द नेम प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ दिस लॉग इन ओके एंड देन आई हैव टू पास इन डिफरेंट एक्शन ओके आई नीड टू और आई नीड टू चेक दैट वेदर दिस नेम is having a log login or not if it is a login value then it will be a pass as it will be a fail is it clear what i need to do that i need to check whether this sign in image is having a value of login or not is it clear this is a problem i have which i need to resolve is it okay harita and shri okay now what i'll do what i'll do dot get aru property it will give me run time property okay value name okay नेम इज हैविंग वैल्यू ओके वैल्यू इज लॉग इन राइट सो बी इक्वल टू नाउ इन बी आई हैव अ लॉग इन ओके and i need to search login okay then message box if it is there if c if it matches then it will return the position or if it doesn't matches then it will return zero so c is not equal to zero then message box will be pass i am correct mangla and shri else message box fail okay now i'll run it you can see here is pass and what c is returning c is returning 1 that means on the first position it matches the string now you got it shri and harita so it will give you the position so that you can match it whether this string is is on the string is there on the string which where you need to find it okay string to be search or string to be search for so in the string to be search you can search your string is it okay shri hari harita what about harita you okay now we'll see another function that is a replace now let's say you have this string b in b you have a login right and you wanted to replace this string okay you wanted replace this string replace means replacing the value C equal to replace. Now, what is your expression here? Expression is my B. 
comma find what do you need to find okay i want to find g and with which value you want to replace it i want to replace it with o now what it will give you shri and harita what it will return and all these are the why shri zero replace means replacing the string replacing from the string what we have in b i am replacing g with o harita g with o shri g l o in b i have login ha right right it's luin not loon shri it's luin let's see run it it will replace the value you can see here it will be luin okay in this way you can use the replace function now we have another function called date from which you can take a date you what do you need to write c equal to just date okay message box you will get the current date whenever you want a date which is current date then it will then you need to do then you need to use a date function you can see here it is giving you a current date okay now let's say you want to check your string that whether this string is numeric or not so for that checking we have a function called is numeric now we have b b is a string right now i want to check that whether this string is numeric or not so for this we have an inbuilt function called is numeric b c equal to message box of b okay run it uh we have put it message box as a b right what is happening I don't know what happened. 
okay so i need to write here c now let's run it now you can see that that it is returning false because b is having a string value it's not numeric right right shri and arita and what if it is, i'll pass a numeric value what it will return it will return true okay okay so this is all about our inbuilt functions we, we which we have in qtp and which we can use for manipulation of, of our manipulating our test data or something string which we need to manipulate so these are some of the inbuilt function there are a lot of functions available with the qtp okay which are available which can be used so you need to do the r and d work and you need to learn and uh, this is the way you can learn the inbuilt function so the important one i have given the demonstration how can you use it so just remember it you will get everything in the help file syntax wise you will get it in the help window okay now we'll see some of the important methods which are available in qtp okay now let's say methods okay now first i'll save this first okay any questions related to your inbuilt functions harita and shri okay now we will see some of the methods which are available with the qtp the first method which we are going to learn is the exist method okay let's say uh, what i'll do i'll record exist method checks only okay it only checks okay i show you we have exist property exist you can see here you can use the exist property to check whether or not a window exists to check the existence we use a exist method like let's say i want to check whether this user edit box is present in this window or not so to check this what i can use exist method first what i'll do i'll take a description of this okay then i'll stop okay now i want to check whether this web edit box is present in this page and browser so what i'll do i'll use exist method if browser page web edit username dot exist 
okay it it returns only true or false if it is there then then print text box is present text box is present in the application where you need to check so you can use exist method and it is widely used in the projects very frequently we use this exist method okay else text box is not present in the application and if i'll run it okay we have not put it then you can see that text box is present in the application so in this way we use the exist method exist method is used used to check the existence of your object okay whichever you want to check the existence you can put the exist method over there okay now click click method is used to click on any web object like in sign in i want to put i want to perform click operation this click okay so you can put it just okay mm okay so click is for clicking any object so just click so it will click your web object wherever you want to perform this operation okay now the next method is activate activate means it will activate your window which you want to act will open okay now let's say you have uh, this mercury web mercury page okay and you want to activate this page okay and then you want to perform some action let's say you want to perform want to enter first activate and then enter the value dot set okay set is used to enter the value okay and we are entering the value in the username okay so first i want to activate this page sorry browser uh, browser activate browser dot activate see in the help what is there for the activate activate method activate okay it activate method activates the window object dot activate 
ओके लेट्स सी द एग्जाम्पल लाइक दिस विंडो नोट पेड डॉट एक्टिवेट द फॉलोइंग एग्जाम्पल यूज द एक्टिवेट मैथड टू एक्टिवेट द विंडो ओके ना वट आई डू आल रिकॉर्ड ओके इट ओनली एक्टिवेट योर विंडो दैट्स इट वट आई डू आल रिकॉर्ड Now you can see here. But no, no Notepad dot activate. Okay, I'll delete this. Put comment. So activate method is used for window. Okay, to to activate window we use activate method. I'll learn it. you can see that now your untitled notepad is your activated now it is popping up into your screen that means it is activated okay she harita is it okay 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 now let's say i want to close this so what i need to use close method is there which is used to close any window or page as well okay browser page as well like close or what i'll do uh, this browser i wanted to close uh, browser Okay, let it be. Okay, it's activated. Now I want to close. It is. It is clicking. Close means it is close. It will, it will click on this. This sign. Okay, X. Closing. Okay, so it will close this window. Okay. and let's say if i want to select one so select anything then it for this we have a select method now let's say i want to select something from this web list okay so for that we have a select method what are it first so i'll take the description in the object repository then i'll perform the operation now you can see that is a list okay from this list i want to select something okay from port wherever you want to select then it will select a item for you okay now select from port i want to select london okay then what i need to pass just i just need to put put london item okay now let's see Run it. Now you can see here. Then it it is London is selected. Okay. So these this is uh, this is this is all about select method. Till now, Shri and Harita, Mangla, do you have any questions related to methods and? Okay. Now we'll see one of the very important method which we used. in qtp while doing the scripting that is a reporter object and this method you need to implement in your live project as well 
ओके उल्टी रिपोर्टर डॉट रिपोर्ट इवेंट इवेंट स्टेटस कैन बी डन फेल पास वार्निंग ओके वॉट इज रिपोर्टर रिपोर्टर इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट विच इज यूज टू सेंड द इंफॉर्मेशन टू योर टेस्ट रिजल्ट आई रिपीट रिपोर्टर मेथड इज यूज टू सेंड द इंफॉर्मेशन टू योर रिजल्ट ओके एंड रिपोर्ट इवेंट इज वन ऑफ द मैथड ऑफ योर रिपोर्टर ऑब्जेक्ट ओके नाउ इवेंट स्टेटस आई वॉन्ट टू सेंड मिक पास मीन्स इट इज पास स्टेप नेम लॉग इन डिटेल्स यूजर इज सक्सेस फुली एंटर्ड इन द मार्करी वेब एप्लीकेशन वेन आई विल पुट दिस ओके नाउ श्री एंड हरिता एंड मंगला कैन यू टेल मी वेन आई विल यूज दिस रिपोर्टर इवेंट इन विच सेन आर यू आई Use this method. Shri, Harita, when I need to pass the information, yes, to verify something has occurred. Very good, Shri. Okay, so when we need to pass something, we need to pass into the right to. to get an idea whether this is verified or something is verified or something information we need from the result then we will use this statement so let's say in our object repository we have user name right now okay Now I'll add an object in this pass. Okay. So I'm setting username. in the same way you have to use in your uh, on our live project as well the way i am using it okay i'll give you a demonstration how to use it now i'll setting a browser name and a username and password okay then markery okay now now let's say if user has entered the user id and password and click on the sign in button okay uh now just a moment hai just a moment Why it is taking so much time to log in? Okay. What I'll do, I'll record. Close this. Power. Okay, when I'll see, 
okay when i enter the username and password then and clicking on the sign in button right so sign in button and i am saying that if this web list from port object is present in the next page okay then it will be a then user is successfully entered in the mercury web application so what i have to use here in this line what i need to use i need to write something that if this present then you will say the you then you will then we will say that user is successfully entered in the mercury web application so tell me what should i use yes mangla very good it need to be used exist right if it is exist then i'll say that user is successfully entered in the mercury web application so what i'll use i'll use dot exist if this happens then pass the information to the result that user is successfully entered in the mercury web application as pass this information as fail okay user is not not able to enter in the mercury web application and i need to yes yes harita i am using then okay and then end it okay so in this way you need to write the code and remember this remember this to get the things to get the results to get to know that whether your application is working fine or not we are always passing this kind of information to our test result to get to know that whether application is able to log in or some functions are uh, some objects are available in the application or not to get to know all these things we use reporter event okay and if okay okay let's see now i'm saying that when it will display this web list when qtp recognize this web list departing from then we'll say that user is logged in now i'll close this and we'll run the application Sorry, we'll run the QTP scripts. I'll run it. What is saying? Syntax error. Okay. We have not closed the braces. Okay. sorry need not to use this braces actually okay now close this and again run it is already password now it will check it is checking why this page came or run it again see what is there mercury okay mercury sign in button 
Are we pressing the incorrect password? M E R C U R Y. Why it is not taking? M is caps lock or what? Okay. Use small m. Now it is logging. Okay. Now you can see that it got your web list, right? It recognized. It is exist. It exists. Now F11 and close. Now we'll see the test result. What the information it has passed to your test result. You can see here that. the test result okay in the test result you'll get user is successfully entered in the mercury web application result pass this is your step name and it is your step details and make pass pass you have passed right so it is passed make fail means it will come fail done information okay so this information can be passed to your test result is it clear harita mangla and sri okay whenever you want to pass some information to your test result then you need to use reporter event and it is Really, we use a lot this reporter event to send some information to our test result. So that the end user will get to know that whatever is happening in the application. We can pass this result to anyone else, right? So that he can get to know that what, where we are, where the steps are passing and where the steps are failing. Right? So it is used for reporting as well. So you have to use this reporter event. Okay, and in the same way only. Okay. So here we are, we have completed our topic of inbuilt functions and methods. Now we'll move to our checkpoints. Okay, Mangla. Uh, for debugging, I didn't get you Mangla. No weak. Uh, for debugging, why you want it, right? Because we have, we have, right? We have this thing. Uh, debugger viewer. You'll get to know that every value, right? So why you to use reporter command? We have a debugger view where we can see the variable value command. Uh, on it to report the test results any information you would like to send it to the test result then you use report event no not, not for debugging we use we use only for 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 sending the information to the test result that's it we use report event okay now we'll move to our next top topic that is checkpoint okay That is our checkpoint. Now, okay, I'll save this first. Okay, now 
Now checkpoint. Checkpoint is a method used to check the content before and after the step. Okay, that is it is used to compare the expected value with the actual value displayed in the application. Okay, and these checkpoints can be customized according to the requirement. Now the checkpoint can be added while recording the application or it can be added after the recording is completed using active screen. Okay, and for adding the checkpoint after recording, the active screen must be enabled while recording. Okay, once the checkpoint is added, the QTP add a checkpoint to the current row in the keyword view and add a checkpoint statement to the expert view. Or checkpoint is a verification point that compares the current value for a specified property with the expected value for the property. I'll tell you how to use it. Okay, checkpoint are used to check your content before and after. Now how to use? I'll tell you. Checkpoint, okay. Remember that checkpoint inserted, it's always better to insert the checkpoint in the recording mode because it is easier to mark the checkpoint. Now here you can that, see that all these checkpoints are enabled right now. Now, now first one is standard checkpoint. Standard checkpoints check the property value of an object in your application. Property value of an object in your application. Now click this. Now, let's see let's say we have this okay window I need to pass I need to check one of the property of one of the object now I want to know okay now you can see here these all property came down and I want to check one of the property okay I want to check one of the property of this web object now, what I'll do, I'll first, I'll unselect all the values and I want to check value, okay, so here, I want to check that this departing from is having a value of a couple go. Okay. So to check this, what I'll use? Value. Okay. I want to check this value, this property value. So this can be achieved by using standard checkpoint. Okay. To check the property of any object, you use standard checkpoint. Okay. I'll put. Okay. Now, what I'll do, I'll change this value to Paris. Okay, you can see here that it has inserted a checkpoint statement. Web list, in the web list I want to check, then check checkpoint. It means a checkpoint has inserted. And where I have to check? In this web list from port. Okay, now I'll run this. Now can anyone tell me what will be, what will be the result? Haita Mangla. We'll run it. We are checking the only the property value. Okay, property value of the value value. It will fail. Okay, it is checking. Okay, now I'll I'll see in the result. Now you can see that it fails. Why it fails? It is saying that it has found your value need to be find as Ekapulko, but it has found Paris. That's why it fails. 
okay so in this way you can use the standard checkpoint Ch standard checkpoints is used to check the property of any object is it okay harita mangala and shri do you have any questions related to the checkpoints standard checkpoints okay now we will see one other method of checkpoint that is text checkpoint now wherever you want to check the any particular text then you use text checkpoint now i want to check this text okay now once you click over there then you will get this check that you this 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 is your text now i can configure it click on the configure button now you can see here red mark is the check which are which is qtp is checking the text which is in red color is qtp is checking okay black is the color which is used text before this is the text before and text after right now i'll instruct qtp that i don't want all this part of text to be checked so i text before so this is the only part which i want to check now you can see there in your destination the color of this text is black earlier it is red right so i want to check only this part of your text okay with the text before is this and text after after is this okay now i'll say okay okay now i'll say okay now i'll run it let's see so now you can see here it has added a line checkpoint from port oh sorry i guess here this is the line which is added for for checking the text now i'll learn it i'll comment this line okay now i'll learn it okay now we'll see the result it is passed now text checkpoint captured is this it it successfully matches with the string which we need to check it is found in the application so in this way you use your checkpoint text checkpoint okay now let's say i want to save this text in our data table okay okay one more thing before to this in the object repository what is there we'll see it once you go in the object repository you can see here that the checkpoint is added checkpoint is added 
this is our standard checkpoint and this is our test checkpoint now let's say i want to save the value whichever there is in the value i want to save in data table so you can parameterize as well so it will say here data table it will add it up from port value a column in the global sheet and it will store the value over here in this data table okay if you want you can configure it well wherever you want to use okay not right now i am giving the default one okay in a similar way you can use it for this as well okay i configured it so whatever it will check it will store it will get stored into the runtime data table in the runtime data table you will find it into under this column under that sheet global sheet now i'll save it and again i'll run it Now we open the test result. Okay, in the runtime data, you can see that from value, value port value is added, entered into this, and text is entered here. So we can configure this for in a data table. If you want th that value in a data table, you can configure it from there, or at the time of the recording that checkpoint you can configure that as well okay so in the runtime data table it is present is it clear mangla harita shri okay so in this way you can configure the values okay now we'll move to other checkpoint okay record first okay insert checkpoint okay standard checkpoint text checkpoint text area checkpoint is same like text checkpoint okay now we'll see that bitmap checkpoint okay bitmap checkpoint checks an area of your application as a bitmap i'll give you a demonstration that i'll then i'll go into the theory part part okay what i'll do it will check the screen size and resolution of your page uh, let's say we have this okay uh, google google mm, mm, google maps okay i'll open google maps it check the screen size and resolution of the image okay now i want to check this okay i want to check this image insert checkpoint sorry in the recording mode i have to go first insert checkpoint bitmap checkpoint now checking cancer okay uh not taking actually it is not recognizing okay now you can see here that it has captured your image okay it is captured your all image now 
and you want to check entire bitmap you want to check entire your image or only selected area i'm saying that i want to select only a selected area okay or i'll check entire okay now what is the tolerance you can have i don't want any tolerance i want the same image to be tested pixel tolerance is null okay now i'll say okay checkpoint timeout okay now what i'll do i'll click on this zoom zoom in okay i zoomed out zoomed in okay now i want to check this page now can anyone tell me whether it will be fail or pass it check the size and the bitmap the size and the resolution of your image bitmap checkpoint checks the size and pixels of your image so will it be pass or fail shri hi the good it's fail it will be fail right because now the size and your pixel of the image is increased right pixel is decreased and size is increased right now i'll run it Okay, now I'll stop it. Now let's see what is there in the result. You can see here that it fails. It got fail because I wanted to check this. This is the image which I want to search. The first. window and the second one is what we are getting right now so where you want to capture the exact pixels and size of the image then at that point you have to ch check the bitmap checkpoint where where a pixel on also matters at that point you need to check the bitmap checkpoint is it okay shri harita and mangla okay now we'll see the another method of checkpoint is database checkpoint okay uh for database checkpoint we don't have any database sql or oracle so we'll consider our database as like a excel database okay excel is also a, like a database right so we'll take database as excel okay mm. we have config file right yeah okay now now let's say we have this file and i want to retrieve the value from this file okay then this value i want to check the value of this file okay now i'll what i'll do i'll put i want to verify the content of this file this is a database and i want to check so the content of this database so for this i'll use database checkpoint insert checkpoint database checkpoint okay now here here it is a inlet create query using microsoft query or specify sql statement manual i am saying that i am specifying as sql statement okay uh, what will be our sql statement one moment ha huh? uh what will be 
Let's say we have we have Excel, right? Uh, config. Okay. I want the test case whose execution is marked as yes. I want the test case ID whose execution is marked as yes. So what will be the query for that? Select test case ID select test case ID from config it is a XLX X right it will give you a pro problem then I'll save it into XLS dot XLS config one save it okay This is a config one. Select test case ID from config. Here I have to give the sheet name. In our case, sheet one is the sheet name. Sheet sheet one dollar where test case where execution right where execution is set as yes. where execution is marked as yes okay I'll copy this query so I am selecting the test case ID from sheet where execution is marked as yes so what will it it, it should return what it should return Marking this as no. Control C. So what it should return? Sri Harita. Okay, TC one, right? Okay. I'll save it and I'll close this. Okay. Copy this. Okay. Specify, I am specifying a SQL statement manually. Okay. Next. Create. Okay. Now go to machine DSN. Under new. You have to give the user data source. Applies to this machine. And system data source applies to all. Applies to this machine only. System data. Okay user DSN you need to select okay and I want the driver I want to select these all are the driver which you need to select so in, in our case we are having XLS right so we need to select XLS star dot XLS this is our driver file right if you have access Microsoft access driver then you need to select this, select this. okay these all are the driver name for the databases. You need to select according to your database. Okay. In our case, it will be a Excel, right? So we, we need to select 
स्टार डॉट एक्सेल है नेक्स्ट फिनिश ओके नाउ गिव द डी एस एन नेम एनी नेम यू कैन गिव एक्सेल डेटा बेस ओके नाउ यू नीड टू सिलेक्ट दैट वर्क बुक फ्रॉम वेयर यू वॉन्ट टू रिट्रीव द डेटा इन आर के इट इज इन जी क्यूटीपी स्क्रिप्ट it's g it is under mm, where it is located g qtp ppt under right qtp ppt qtp ppt under this training now you can see here we have our file config1.xls select this and click on okay okay now it is coming it is showing excel database okay click on okay okay now specify your now this is your connection string this connection string is used by qtp to connect with our Excel QT to connect QTP with the Excel. This string connection string is used. Okay. Now let's specify the SQL statement. This is my SQL statement. Okay. Now I am finished. Now you can see here that it is returning some value, right? <coughs> okay. and i'll pass as a in this global sheet okay now this will be your database checkpoint so in this way you need to create your database checkpoint i'll run this now see the result verification type okay tc1 is checked and is found in the excel sheet okay so in this way you can use the database checkpoint and in the run time data table we'll get the value you can see here it has written this value tc1 is it clear to everyone mangla shri harita okay so in this way we use a database checkpoint okay now x XML checkpoint is used to check the content of your XML file. Okay, so these are some important checkpoints which we use in our QTP. Okay, now we'll see the output checkpoint, output value checkpoint. Okay, uh, we'll take a ten minutes break, then we'll continue with our check output checkpoint. Okay, is it okay, Harita Mangla Shri? we we'll take a 10 minute break okay okay so i am stopping here we'll meet after 10 minutes ah uh, is all our back shri harita mangla please type in the chat window if you are there <clears throat> श्री हरिता
we'll wait mangala we'll wait for a minute then we'll start Mangla, I have unmuted you. Yeah, uh, I have unmuted. You can speak, Mangla. If you want, you can speak. Hello. Uh, ha, hi, Mangla. Hello. Yeah, Mangla. Yeah, hi, Sumit. Hi, Mangla. How are you? Yeah, actually. Yeah, I'm fine. How are uh, you? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, actually the live project which you gave in the last uh -huh. week, uh -huh. uh, I did that part. Uh, uh -huh. I, I did, but I'm having few doubts. Like if till what I've done, uh, am I on the right path or not? Achha, achha. So I have pasted the screenshots of the work done by me. Okay, I do one thing. So Mangla. once you do one thing, Mangla. Yeah. Uh, after the after we complete the session, uh, you will wait. Yeah, sure. You wait there, and I'll. Clear all your queries and I'll give you control of my screen okay. so you can share your screen. Then we'll see accordingly and we'll give the resolution of the same if you want, right? If you okay, want any okay. suggestion or any feedback, I'll provide you the same over there only. Okay, sure, sure. Actually, uh, all the screenshots I've captured and uh, sent huh. it to you. You can review that one as well while after the session. Okay, 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 okay. We'll do that. We'll do that. Okay. 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 Any 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 questions you have? Any suggestions? Yes, something? and uh, yes. Um, while uh, for the, regarding the dictionary objects thing, mm. while I was trying to execute in my uh, system, it was mm. coming as scripting dictionary you have given, right? Yeah. What uh, what? Scripting scripting dictionary. Scripting dot dictionary, I guess. Yes. Uh, there I am getting actually error. What kind of error? Uh, one you show you show me that after the session I'll I'll, I'll yeah sure it, okay? okay okay fine okay, or anything fine. else apart from this yeah only these things okay, regarding okay. the live project and the dictionary okay. yeah we'll do it uh, once our session is over then we'll do it, uh, we'll resolve the problem of yours okay okay sure okay 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 okay, okay. okay. thank you thank you. Harita Shri you are back. Please type in the chat window if you are with me. Okay. Now we'll move to our next part that is output value. It's not output checkpoint, it's an output value. Okay. So what is output value? Out using output value, we can retrieve we, we can retrieve properties of object, database field values, text presenting objects, and can store on data table in test result window. That means output value is used to retrieve the value. Okay, retrieve the property value or database value or text like we use the checkpoint right checkpoint is used to check right it is used to check your uh, actual value your expected value with the actual value but here you can retrieve your value which are there for the object database or text okay we'll see one by one then you'll get to know more about this okay <clears throat> Now go to insert. Sorry, first you need to record it, right? Now okay. Insert output value. Output means it is giving you output something okay output standard output value okay now i want the value of this web list okay from day 
now what all the values you want i want this value i want the item count item count means the number of value it contains right now it is containing 31 right it will give me 31 item count means all the items it is one item second third fourth so this is 31 items are there right so it is give it is giving me an item count i want this item count okay and configure value output value type data table it will store under this column and the sheet will be this if you want you can modify as well now i want the column name should be this so you can see here that it has inserted a column but this column is not entered into your data table okay it is entered into your run time data table okay global sheet okay okay it is using this column it is saying so i can use i want to give the name of the column first first i'll provide some name of the column now from date okay now insert sorry standard output value insert output value standard output value this web list from date item count i want modified you can see here from date column is there and so i'll select this value click on okay yes okay okay now if you are thinking that in this design time data table the value will get stored it will not it will stored in which table shri harita mangla any idea in which table it will get stored this value item count this is a design time data table right we have one more type type of data type uh, data table what it is called right she run time data table so this value it will fetch the value from there and it will store the value at the run time data table only remember this thing that all the operation which you perform while doing while doing the output value it will get stored only at in run time data table it will not store under design time data table okay this is a thumb rule which you need to learn okay this is thumb rule for output value all the value will get with uh, will get <coughs> stored under run time data table now run it <clears throat> sorry we stop need to stop recording it from day now stop okay now i'll see in right time it is you can see here that 31 get stored under run time data table and in the design train table we don't have anything value we don't have any value there uh, 
you can see here we don't have any value okay so this is about all about standard output value now we'll see in the same way we use text output value okay mm. record it is same like checkpoints which we have done like same okay uh, text output value insert output text output value i want to check this text i want to read no you can modify as well okay in the same way now it is telling you that in this column it will get your output will be stored click on okay now run it so this is your checkpoint okay output it is output checkpoint now run it see the result here we have in the data table right this you got your text right so in this way it is almost same like we use in the checkpoint but the difference is you will get the output here in the using output value you will get the output from the checkpoints but in the standard uh, in the checkpoints we we used we use checkpoint to see the actual value with the expected value so this is the only difference we have with output value and the checkpoint and all the things are same which we use in the checkpoints right so in a similar way you have to do it for database output value okay any questions related to output value okay mangla shri harita in the same way we can use for output value like we use for checkpoint okay in output value you will get the output and in the checkpoint you are verifying something from your expected result actual and expected is checked here in the checkpoint in the output value you will get the output value from your checkpoint and it will get stored under your runtime data table okay <clears throat> any questions related to stand checkpoints and output shri harita now we will move to our next topic that is excel connection code uh just some tips i wanted to give you regarding the automation generally in automation we used for database for database for storing our test data we generally use excel so it is very necessary that how we can connect it is very necessary to understand how we can connect the qtp to the excel okay i have done near about n numbers of project near about 60 70 projects i have done in qtp and in in most of them we have used excel as a database where we stored our test data so i think it is very important as a automation engineer to learn how to connect with your excel okay so in this part we will get to know how to connect with excel and how can we retrieve the data from the excel 
okay we'll not use any checkpoints here we'll use directly connection with an excel and we'll retrieve the data from the excel now we'll understand the code of it what is there in the excel connection code okay Okay. Uh. Okay. <clears throat> so this is our code for connecting with Excel. Okay. Okay, now let's say I want to connect with this Excel. Let's see. GQTP scripts, right? under database now I want to connect with this XLS and I want to retrieve some data from this XLS from this sheet okay now how you can do it <clears throat> First, what do you do? First, store this path config file dot XLS, tell config file XLS into an variable. Okay. Now, now to connect with any database, okay, to connect with any database, you need to create the object of it first. So, two objects need to be defined for connecting the any database. First, your record set and second is for connection. Now, the first one. Here we are using ADODB, ActiveX Data Object Database. Okay, ADODB means this is one of the database which we are using to connect for an Excel. Okay, ADODB dot record set okay and this is for record set okay and this is for adodb dot connection it should be passed under double quotes okay so i have created two objects object ado for adodb record set and object con for adodb dot connection okay now i have to define both these objects okay first i'll define this object connection object connection means connection with your excel okay how to connect with your excel with qtp so qtp needs some connection with your excel so we need to define this to define this what parameter we need to provide we need to provide is provider okay with object con you can write like this as well object con dot provider you can write in this way as well if you are not using end with if you want you can write in this way as well or if you want to use with a statement then you need to uncomment this. 
with object con dot provider object con dot connection string object con dot open so this is the way we use with the statement okay <coughs> sorry so object con first parameter we need to define as provider provider is default as msda sql okay now the second thing which you need to provide with the connection is your connection string <coughs> connection string we have seen <coughs> driver microsoft excel driver star dot xls dbq equal to your path of your excel which you want to connect it and you can only read it because read only is equal to true okay and then you want to open this connection now by defining these three parameters you are done with your object connection okay object connection is used to connect your qtp with your excel sheet now you are connected but you want to retrieve some data right you want to head some query to your database and you want to retrieve it so to for this we use a record set right adodb dot record set to get data <clears throat> to get data and what it do this object adio what it will do it will retrieve some data and it will store under a temporary file or temporary memory which is called as record set table it will store under adodb dot record set data table it is a temporary table where it will store your object which are fetch uh, uh, adodb object is a temporary file or table where it stored the temporary result which are retrieved during the execution of this query this query will return something right it will store under this record set table which is a temporary table and from there we need to retrieve the values okay so to achieve this <coughs> object adio dot open we are firing the query right first we need to open the record set object adio dot open then we are firing the query <coughs> sorry we are firing this query and then we are passing this connection that on this connection you need to find fire this query okay and this is add open static and add lock optimist i'll come this afterwards on this open static and lock optimistic these are two parameter you need to pass so <clears throat> you need to fire the query with connection with odd add open static and add lock optimistic these all need parameter need to pass in under this object adio so what we have done we have first created the object for the adio db record set and then we have created the object for the adio db dot connection then <clears throat> we have defined this object defined this connection okay we have defined this connection then we have defined this record set and then we will perform the operation now in under object adio whatever the query you have executed this is the query right whatever the query you have executed it will get it will get under it will get stored under this object object adio okay now i want the count the number of count which get stored under this object and i am storing under this record variable and i am i am popping up okay in this message box now we'll run this then you'll get to know okay i'll put this comment control now we'll see first that what we have in config file
ओके वॉट आर क्वेरी सेज आर क्वेरी सेज सिलेक्ट टेस्ट केस आई डी सिलेक्ट टेस्ट केस आई डी वेयर फ्रॉम शीट वन डॉलर फ्रॉम शीट वन वेयर एग्जीक्यूशन इक्वल टू यस वेयर एग्जीक्यूशन इज यस तो वॉट इट विल रिटर्न श्री हरिता वॉट इट विल रिटर्न इट विल रिटर्न लॉग इन टी सी फोर एंड टी सी टेन एंड आर रिकॉर्ड काउंट विल बी थ्री राइट थ्री ऑब्जेक्ट रिकॉर्ड इट विल स्टोर अंडर दिस ऑब्जेक्ट एंड वी आर टेकिंग द रिकॉर्ड काउंट ऑफ दिस ऑब्जेक्ट इट विल स्टोर अंडर रेक एंड रेक विल गिव यू थ्री नाउ रन इट बिफोर रनिंग इट यू नीड टू क्लोज दिस एक्सेल now you can see here in the object co connection what we have there all things we have in object adio right we have object adio object adio in object adio We'll see. You can see here. It has given us three. Okay, the count is three because in the config file, three test cases are marked as yes. Login. this test case 4 and test case 10 3 right what if i mark this is also yes it should return as 4 right mm. 4 any queries related to this till now shri harita mangla it is very important to you to understand this code because it is very frequently asked question in the interview how to connect with the database how to connect with the excel how to retrieve the value from the from your excel harita you have to by heart this code you have to just not to remember you have to just by heart it whenever any can can tell you about this excel you can write, even write it right harita you have any questions related to this till now related to the excel connection mangla i know it is little difficult to understand but you will once you will see it then you will get to know that what 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 we are doing here what we are exactly doing here she okay what i'll do <clears throat> haita i am putting you in unmute mode okay haita sure. yeah, yeah yeah tell me if you have anything because it is very important you guys to understand this part of code okay any yes, doubt sure. any doubt you have related to this code no sir. you just write down this code i'll 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 pass this code to you guys as well and try okay. it try it at home okay yes. angla i am putting you on un unmute mode you have anything
No. No? Okay. Hello? Yeah, yeah. Hello? Ha, yeah, no. Mangla. Okay, okay, okay. Ashri, what about you? Are you okay with it? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm good. I got the ideas all right. Yeah, this ha, week, so, right. Um, now I'll, I'll tell you the how to retrieve the value and how to manipulate with, with this data. Till now this is only the part of connection and your record set. Record set, remember one thing, record set is a temporary table on which whatever the query will fire, will it will get saved under their record set. And this is the code which we use to for the connection. Okay, you have to write it as, same as it is for the Excel thing. If it is an Excel driver, if it, if it is an Excel, then you have to write Microsoft Excel driver star dot MDB. That's it. Okay. Now, now I wanted to, I have taken the count of it. Okay. Now, I wanted to know what all values are there. I have count, right? While OBJ ADO is our object where all the values get stored. Okay. ADO dot end of file till it end is not equal to true till is it's having some value till the time this object is having some value you need to run this thing what I want to run is obj adio dot fields and i i equal to i plus 1 i equal to 0 Okay. Now I'll run it, then you'll get to know. Four, four, uh, four. Our query has written the four test case ID, which is marked as yes. Now end of file this object end of file okay uh, i is your wrong number of argument stop okay 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 i get to know i need to put okay zero obj adio dot move next I'll run it. Four. Mm. Zero stop. What is the problem? Okay. Sorry, fell equal to then message box fell. Login, right? Test case two. Test case four. Test case ten. Okay, so in this way, you can retrieve the value. Okay, so here <clears throat> we have field is used to retrieve the value from your record set okay
it will return your record set the the value from the record set fields is used to retrieve the data from your record set object okay and what what we are doing here we are moving next or it first it will point to login then it will then once it will execute this line of statement now it will go to your next record set that is our test case 2 then again next test case 6 again next then test case 10 in this way it will work okay any questions till now harita shri mangla any questions i'll i'll give you this code don't worry i'll give you this code okay but make sure that your syntax is correct and else it will give you a error which you cannot understand where it is giving you so please be cautious while writing this code okay open static and lock static harita i'll tell you <clears throat> what it is object con comma now you can see here add open static and f2 okay here nothing is there i'll just tell you add open static is used to for for writing writes as a writing means when the connection has been established okay if you want to access this from our outside you if you want to access this xls or you want to open it it will not get open because it get locked okay locked and you cannot read and write into it so by the passing these two parameters we are ensuring that once qtp is operating once qtp is working uh, is connecting with this xls no one can do any operations on our xls which is locked by qtp so we are locking this and read write permissions is there so for this we are passing add open static and add lock optimistics for read write reading and writing and for locking it haita is it okay you need to pass as a parameter as 3 just constant 3 this make sure that it will read and write and this will make sure that it will be logged okay <clears throat> now this is the code code which you, we used for connecting that data to for connecting the xls okay now Ah, yes, three is the the name which will tell you that read write. There is a constant value which you need to pass it. Three, okay. For read write, you need to pass three. Okay. Now, now we are done with the Excel connection code. Okay. Now we will see the automation object model. Okay, automation object model is nothing but it is a collection of object, method and property which are used to perform quick test operation. Okay, so it is just a concept which is used to automate QTP itself. Like we have talked, right? We have talked about the wrapper code thing where QTP will open automatically, right? Where, where, where QTP will open automatically and it will open the test uh, case marked in that config file. So that, that all the things we will achieve by automation object model. So automation mod model is just a concept which are used to automate QTP itself. We use this model. Okay. So it is, we will use the some collection of objects which are supported by the automation object models, object methods and properties of it. So to automate QTP itself, I'll, I'll give you a demo, then you'll get, get to know more about this. Okay. 
now now before this going into this now in the config file you can take out the test cases right which we have talked for our automation live project So now the config file is also done, right? Is it okay, Harita? Now you can do the uh, control file. How how you will you will uh, uh, take out the test case ID which has marked as yes. You can get the, the number as well, right? You can write the code for the config file, right? Harita Mangla, Shri, are you able to so do? Are you able to do this? Okay. <clears throat> because we right now we know that how can we can take out the value from the XLS, right? So this part is also done for our live project, right? <clears throat> Test case file. This all already I have told you about this thing. Now startup code that is wrapper code where QTP will automatically open and and it will read the file, test case file, config file, and from the config file, it will open the test in QTP. That part will achieve with the help of automation object model. Okay. This part, startup code, wrapper code. Now, how to do it? Now, I'll tell you. Yeah, I'll comment this part of code first. Okay. Okay. For doing this, <clears throat> what you need to do, we have a object supported for this QTP that is quicktest dot application. Okay. You need to write quicktest dot application. <clears throat> you need to create the object for this quicktest dot application, and we are setting into under a variable called QTP app. Okay. Now. QTP app dot launch. It will launch your QTP. Okay. QTP app dot visible. It will visible means it will be displayed into your screen to visible. I'm marking as true. Okay. This. What I'll do? I'll only only run this part of code. <coughs> Sorry. So for doing this, what you need to do, do save it. Okay. <clears throat> and close this. Now create a notepad. <clears throat> Write wrapper code. In the txt, change it to vbs for creating the vbs file. Yes. Now it is a vbs file. Right click and under this and edit. Now write this code. Okay. What you need to write? Set QTP app equal to create object dot create object quick test dot application in the double quotes okay 
then QTP QTP app dot visible QTP dot app dot activate first I'll activate it and then I'll make it visible dot visible equal to true and save it okay I'll close this this is automation object model which is used to automate QTP itself with the help of some method property and operations okay uh, where it is our file is now now our QTP is closed now we will open it right click double click this file okay what it is saying <coughs> object doesn't support this method or this is this activate okay Control X, Control V. Now your QTP is opening. You can see here that your QTP is open. We are getting this error. We will see here. Okay. But at least it is opening the key of QTP. Is it okay, Shri Harita? Mangla? To how to create your wrapper file, wrapper code? Now, in the wrapper code, again, the next thing we, we want to do is, <coughs> we want to open our test, right? Now next thing we want to open the test which is mar dash yes right in the config file. We want to open this test case right test case one mark dash yes and let's say we have another test case which is mark dash yes. Okay. File open. Okay, launch, launch is there, okay, now it will launch, now it is, it will open, okay, now I want to run my test case which is marked as yes, right, so I want to run it, so for this I need to run QTP test dot run, sorry, 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 now I want to open, right, first now I opened my QTP. Now I want to open my test. For doing this, what I need to do, do QTP app dot open. Okay. Now I need to open which all test cases which are there in G colon script submit scripts. Okay. And what is F2? F2. <coughs> is the name of the test case which I want to execute okay so how will I do it I'll change to F2 
F2. Now, <clears throat> now tell me what this F2 will contain Mangala Harita and Sri. What this code will return? Yes, message box F2. What it will be there? Okay. What will be there in F2? Yeah, Rita, I'm changing. What will be there in F2? What this code will return me? <clears throat> what this code will return me? Harita, why it will return two? I have used fields, right? Shri, what fields will do? Field will, what it will return? Mangla? Guys, wake up. It's a wake up call for you. Yes will return. I am selecting the text case ID, right? And yes will be returned. TC1. Then what else? First it will return TC1. Then TC5. Then nothing. Right? So, in F2, first it will store as TC1 and TC1 is a, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> TC1 is a, now I'll change it to login and flight booking, okay, so that we can understand. Now I'll return login and flight booking. Now this is my test case name, right? And what is the path where we are opening? We have this path, right? We'll go under this path, see what all there, what all is there. Okay. These all are tests, all are QTP scripts, right? Now, we have a login. See, that name is same, right? Login, which is there in the test case ID. Login. Second is flight booking. Flight booking we have. Flight booking, we don't have flight booking, right? What I'll do, I'll open some other function. Let's say I'll open uh, I'll open dictionary object, okay? Or I'll create one. Uh, light logging, right? Login, we have. Control C, Control V. These are all QTP scripts, huh? Flight booking. Flight booking. Now, I'll give the same name to this as well. Flight booking. Flight booking. Okay? Now, <coughs> save it. And close it. Now, what will be stored under F2? Tell me. First, what will, huh? first, first it will store the login. And where it is, login is under this path. Right? So, g colon script slash summit script slash login. It will, QTP will open 
your test login first okay and to run this you can even write like this to run this qtp app dot test dot run to run your script this line you need to write it okay and <clears throat> I need to <laughs> No, we'll run it. Okay. From where we have to run this, I'll copy this part of code and I'll paste into our wrapper code. Script my computer cheat script wrapper code, right? I did. So let's delete control V. Control S. Okay, now I'll run it. I'll close this. Now I'll double click on it. Now it is written that count right count is in our cases four why it is four i don't know i really have to see the excel we'll see okay login for login okay test case name is the login now qtp is opening now it has opened the login now it is running Okay. Did you get it? Guys, what it is doing here? It is open, right? Now, what I will message box. Box. login okay and we have created one more function right file booking file open test message box flight booking okay now <clears throat> I close this and I'll close this QTP as well now again we'll run it let's see and we have a config file right config is stored under where it is stored my computer G QTP scripts database right under this config okay it is giving four why because we have marked four test cases as yes right login oh we haven't changed here we are seeing another file we are doing a manipulation on another file login and file booking and file booking
and this I don't want to run. <clears throat> okay, I'll run it. Two test cases, which are first one is login. Now it will open your first test case and it will run and it will give you a message box as a login. You can see here. It has opened the test case. You can see here in the title bar. G script Sumit scripts login has been opened. Okay. And in the login script we have message box called login. Now. Okay. We are getting some error. Okay. In the same way it will open with a pride booking. Now you see what the error is coming out. Okay. Some error is there. Did you get it? Mangla, Sharita, Sri. What we are doing here? Any single questions or I know it is very new to you guys. It take time to understand. Go through the code once again and I'll share with you all the code. Go through the code. If you have any single point of doubt, you just, you just email me or you can ask in the next session. Is it okay Mangla? Is it okay Shri? Okay. <clears throat> we'll see what the error we are getting. Okay. I'll paste this new code. Oh, sorry. I have executed. Okay. 
Fifth.com. I did. That is UTP test. equal to this beauty uh, I'll run this code okay login now it will open the QTP It will open the test. Login. Okay, I'll see this error why it is giving me. Then again, it will take your next test case. That is, in our case, it will be flight booking. And then again, it will open the flight booking and it will run the test case. So in this way, our frame, our live project will work, right? In the wrapper code, it will read the files. It will read the test cases which is marked as execution as flagged as yes. Then it will read it, then it will open in QTP and it will run all the test cases which are marked in the config file. Is it okay, Mangla Harita? Shri, I'll give you the code which will run for all the this thing, the automation object models thing. Okay, and I'll share as well the code of this as well for connecting the Excel and the automation object model. So the automation object model is just a model which is used to automate QTP itself. With the help of their methods and the properties, we can automate QTP. Okay, there are many more methods and uh, properties are also there with the ob automation object model, which you can use. So this is one of them which we which we have used just now for our wrapper code. Is it okay, Mangla Harita? Any doubts related to this? Checkpoint output checkpoint or Excel connection code and automation object model. Any questions? Okay, I know I know guys uh, this Excel connection code and automation object model is very new for you. Just go through the code. If you have any question or any doubts, you you can inquire you can query me or you can email the query to me or so that I can get uh, give you the solution of the same or I, I can able to help you more on this part okay you just need to just need to learn it and you just need to understand this part of code because it is very important to understand and which is very frequently used in projects okay <clears throat> if you have any questions you can come up with your questions i try to resolve it okay uh harita do you have any questions or anything which you want to clear it Okay, uh, Shri, uh, Mang, uh, I think Harita and Mangla is having some questions. If you want, you can end up with the session because we are ending up. Once I'll clear all the doubts of Mangla and Harita, I'll close the session because we are done with our, the topic which we need to cover today. We are done with all the topics. Is it okay, Shri? Okay, Shri. Okay, we'll we'll meet you tomorrow, Shri. Okay. Now, Harita, do you have anything?
हरिता आई एम अनम्यूटेड यू आस्क योर क्वेश्चन मंगला जस्ट राइट नाउ आई डोंट हैव एनी सर ओके यू डोंट हैव एनी क्वेश्चन नो सर आई गो थ्रू इट एंड आई गेट बैक टू यू वन इफ आई गेट एनी डाउट या 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 जस्ट Email. And I have emailed your uh, the problem which we are facing the, the uh, last session. Did yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, I got it, sir. Oh, you got it. Uh, I need to try it, sir, once. Yeah. yeah. I have emailed you as well. Okay. Yes, sir. I got it, sir. Okay. And one more thing, Harita and Mangla, please give us the feedback which we send back, which is sent by the uh, this uh, Vijay to you. I think you got the email oh. right, or oh, Vijay? When sir? Uh, it's I think almost ten or fifteen days back. You get an email regarding the feedback of our session. Okay. 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 Mangla and Harita, please yeah, fill yeah. this form and just give us some feedback. Okay. Okay, sir. Sure. Sure. Yes. Okay. 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 Harita, uh, Harita, you can leave if you want. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. We'll see okay, you in sir. the next class. Okay. Yeah, Mangla. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yeah. हेलो हाँ मंगला या या हाय सुमित या रिगार्डिंग द प्रोजेक्ट व्हिच यू गिवन एस एन एसाइनमेंट लास्ट वी मंगला जस्ट अ मिनट या शेयर शेयर आई आई गिव आई एम गिविंग यू अ कंट्रोल टू यू नाउ यू कैन शेयर मी योर स्क्रीन ओके जस्ट अ मोमेंट आई एम गिविंग यू कंट्रोल शेयर ओके One minute. I will show the uh, screenshots which I have captured so that I can huh. show step okay. by step. Show my screen. You got, okay. got the control? You are able. Okay, you are able to see my screen. Right now, no. One second. Now. Mm. Now yes. It's okay. Gmail is open, right? Yes, in that uh, from that uh, screenshots, I will show my queries. Okay, okay. Okay. I know Harita. I, I know Mangla. This uh, the code which we have, the topic which we have covered, is little mm. difficult to understand. I know this thing. Right. Yes. Until we practice, we will ah, not get yeah, it. Ah, right, right. That's why I told you that you need to practice more. Then you will yes. find it. Then what is the problem? What is the object? What is the method? What all other method which you can use with that? Right. 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 Ah, right. Ah, okay. Yeah. Ah. Uh, so uh, ah. this this error I got by using the dictionary objects. It is coming okay. as actuals component. Uh, uh, can you? Can you open your this test script? Sure, sure. And run it because I am not able to see it. The dictionary. Aramatic. Okay, dictionary, dictionary object. One okay, minute. Okay, open it. Open your test script. Yeah, sure. How to renew the license for it? Because after fifteen days, you will get expired. You need to format your machine, and then you need to reinstall this. Okay. We need to format it. Yes, yes. There is no other option. Okay. So be prepared for this. Take the backup of all of your softwares and all the thing, and format it. Okay. Okay. Means. Uh, we cannot buy this software yes, from the email. It's it's very expensive. You cannot buy it. <laughs> you cannot okay. buy it. Okay. It's uh, we got the license of ten users in thirty five okay. x. Oh my god. <laughs> so this is much cost. We cannot bear it, right? So okay. we have. It, it's better to format it. Okay. Every time before it gets uh, going ah. to expire, we have to format it. Yes. Yes. Okay, you open. Mangla, where are you currently based? 
I'm in Hyderabad. Okay. Working so, in TCS. Working, ah, working in TCS. So you are getting one new assignment in UTP or what? Actually, I, I want to uh, go to automation testing. Right now, I'm doing only manual testing. Okay. So I want to shift to automation testing. So how you will do it? So is your is your getting the option? Uh, actually, after I uh, get the knowledge of this thing, I mm -hmm. can move internally within my TCS only to any automation and QTP related mm -hmm. project. But Mangla, that for that you need to do practice more. Yeah. Okay. We, I once have to. <laughs> once you will get the con no. It's just a matter of time. Yeah. You just invest some time. Yeah. Dedicatedly give some time to QTP. You just invest one hour daily to QTP. Yes. I'm yes. sure that in a month you'll get a. Good confidence that I know QTP and I can work on it. Yes, yes. Just yes, do right. whatever. What do you do? Take one topic only in a day. In a mm. single day, take only one topic and do the mm. R and D work with with this intention. You do. I, yes. This one hour I'll dedicate to for R and D in QTP. Do the R and D yes. work. That's it. Nothing. You just need to do the R and D. That's it. Doing R and D, you'll get to know. What is there and what all our things are there, which we can use. Yes. And yes, I, yes, whatever right. the topic which I have covered, that that is very crucial and very good topics which I have covered in my uh, training. Yes. And it is very frequently yes, used. Yes, will be used in right time. Right, and uh, because right now we are doing near about. I have to do. I just now I told you, right? Are you there in the session or not? When I told you, I have to do which automation of fifty fifty application automation. Fifty application I have to automate. Okay, in your uh, yeah, current project. right, and each application is having their own uh, platform. Means it is a client server, it is a database, or it is like something. <laughs> and uh, and means once you learn, you 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 will learn QTP. Then you have the options to deal with any problem, right? You will get to know that right. what what is there. If you are facing, you are dealing with this kind of application, then what all the logics. Will be used, right? But before right. that, before that, you need to build your concept and your logic, right? If you right, don't have right. logic and concept, then what you will implement? Till the yes, time, yes. You till the time you don't have any logic or any hands-on experience in QTP, you cannot implement it, right? Yes. So, right. so, 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 whatever, or do one thing. Whenever you get some kind of code, just read it. What mm -hmm. they have used, what they have used, and what how they have used. So then yes, you will yes. get an idea that how can we use in our script, right? Yes, you are okay. right. Okay. Yeah, tell mm. me. Now you are. Yeah. Ma, your first statement yeah. is itself is wrong. Said dic equal to create object scripting dot dictionary. It is. It Actually, is. no, no, no. I tried with that also. It it was not coming, so I changed that one. Scripting okay, change. dot dictionary. dictionary. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Scripting dot dictionary. Controls. Okay. Okay. Oh my God! I think I did not put the dot thing. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that is a problem. Okay, perfect. Okay. And what else? So first one, yeah. And remaining things regarding my live project. Hmm. Yes. Do this uh, live project, and I'll assure you that uh, you can crack any interview of having one year experience. Means whoever is requiring mm -hmm. a person who is having a one year of experience of QTP. Yes. Once you do mm. all the assignments which I have given to you all guys, if you do this, mm. you can crack the interview of one year experience in QTP. Kind of yes, yes, I too was planning that to put one year experience. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You, but I cannot. I, uh, but don't put more than that. Okay. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, okay. okay. Yes, because yes. after that we'll get only through experience. Hmm. <laughs> I have invested okay, seven uh, years in this QTP only. Then I got this kind of knowledge only. Ah, yeah, tell me. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so um, uh, this is the framework means. All this combinedly will call as a framework. Right? right, right. These all fra framework is nothing just a guideline or concept. Our guideline we oh. are following. We are folding, fo following a fo folder structure, right? In where we have yes, an action yes. file, data file, library. Okay. 
what are okay. so ah. yeah in the config file thing i have created this uh, uh, six test cases okay uh, for which i have put the flag as yes okay. and in the same excel sheet in, in the sheet too you ask to put the object repository path, path right 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 yeah so we have to paste that path entirely right okay fine from, from where it will the, take the um, now now the question comes uh, now you you have this object repository right shared object repository hmm. right yes now yes. now you have to pass this in qtp how you will pass yes. it uh we have to pass the shared object repository through the uh, wrapper code uh through the wrapper do one thing what you yes. do you what you do hmm. just import this data sheet import this data sheet okay. and take out this value and store this value this path value c colon okay. slash slash hmm. first import this sheet and store okay. it into one variable okay and then 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 associate okay do one thing okay. don't don't do this part of code because in the i guess in the next class i'll i'll okay. tell you i'll tell you how to associate your object repository at okay, run time i will leave i will okay. leave till that point ah, okay you just associate uh, repository manually at okay the time, fine till the time you just manually insert uh, a path by in the associate okay. repository okay okay fine okay uh, in the object repository folder uh, thing i have created the shared object repository okay. for all these four actions no you have to create one i told you right okay only one we have to keep yeah yes one app you have to okay actually uh, means all the four actions only one shared object repository yes. only how you one how you will create it actually when i was trying to create separately for each and no you have to create a you you need to combine all these four repository into one then how you will do this can uh, after creating this four can we link this and create into one no 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 you cannot create okay. you have to merge all them all of them okay okay now you how you will merge it mm. i have told you right how mm. to merge this object repository remember uh, through the op object repository window only right 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 ha ah, right in, in okay. object repository yes. manager we have tools object object repository merge we have ha 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 right 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 go back to that session and see it Okay. Then you come to know the how to merge it. You need to merge all. Okay. The, no need to create anything. Just merge all these things into single one. Okay. Object repository manager using the merge one. Right. Do one thing. One. Create it right now. Go to tools. Yeah, that's better. Ha. To go okay. to tools. Tools. Ha. First, first, what you do? Uh, uh, okay. First, 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 save this object repository. Blank with the blank, you save it. Okay. Save, save it first. This blank one. Blank. Uh, blank. Cancel it. Yeah. Okay. File. File. Go to file. Save as. Okay. Nothing is it there. It is right? in like. Nothing. Yes. Eh? Okay, do one thing. Add any object. Okay. Add any single object. Here. Ah, huh, yes. Where is the add button? Okay, do one thing. I'm open not my, able oh, to. Okay, okay. Open your one of your local object repository. Do one thing. Open one of okay, your uh, local open open your local uh, local object repository. I'm saying. Okay, I will close this one. Ah uh, ah uh, yeah. You have multiple options okay. of creating that. I'll show you one. Uh, one. Okay. Okay sure. Actually, I have created the uh, one second local object repository. How you will open it? First, you need to open that action. Mm -hmm. Then it will open. Okay, login. And remember, Mangla, we have only three weeks left with a two or three weeks. So, yeah, three and weeks. I want to ensure that each of one of you guys huh. complete your this project. 
Okay. Yes. We don't yes, want sure. to be like the another, like another QTP training classes which you do. They do the live project at the very end, and then the people are having the query. They cannot resolve it. They they email just then to resolve it. They do not take any yes. separate session, right? So yes, so yes. I, I, so it, I don't want that things to be in my classes, right? So that's why I've initiated. So parallelly only we will. Ah, uh, uh, right. I want to be parallelly finish. Yes, so we sure. have two or three weeks, right? So make sure that hmm. before that you complete all your assignments. Sure, sure. Okay. Um, after opening this login action and opening ah. the object repository, ah, right. here I have link. Here I have. Go to file. Now, 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 no. Go, go to file. file. Export local objects will be there. Actually, these got disabled after I created the shared object repository. After I associated with the shared object repository. Okay, so remove it from this. Remove it from there where you have associated. Okay. Uh, how to do that one? Uh, yeah, you have to go in associate repository. Go to under associate repository. Okay. I have to delete this one. No, 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 no. Need to delete. Go under repo associate repository. Ha, delete here. Yeah, this is the. Ha, de delete here. Delete. No, just, just delete it. Delete this. Okay. One. Okay. You done. can oh, one second. One second. You can add all your object local object repository here as well, huh? But this is not the correct way to do it. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So go now. Uh, now go in. Go, go open your local object repository. Okay. Now, yeah, it will be open now. No, it, it is not coming. After deleting this one, I'm not getting again the local object repository. Okay. See this so got this created a shared object repository. Each one, each action is having own their. Yes. Their yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, so each each action is having is a shared object repository. Yeah. Each one is uh, okay. actually so, first uh, created the. Okay, go, yeah, to, go to tools now. Now I got to know. Okay, go to tools. Okay, Repo object Repo repository tools. Ah, uh -huh. where we are object margin manager under manager. Okay, tools. Tools. Object merge tool. Ah, uh -huh. yes. Okay. Okay. And now Marshall. open it. Okay. okay. Now give the path of first file and second file. Your local object, your shared object repository, huh? Okay, shared object repository path. I have given. Uh, I have to give now. Uh, right. One second, shared object repository. Okay, these are the shared object repository. So only only uh, shared object repository will be here. Here can be merged. So first you need okay, if, it, if it is a local object repository, then first you need to convert it into a shared object repository. Then only you can merge it. Okay, it is uh, converted. Uh, these are all the shared object repositories. Right, right, right. So select first. So login. Okay, login. Open. Okay, open. One one you have to select. You have selected both of them in a single time. No, only one I ah, have selected. Ah. Select and secondary again. file. Second file, select it. Flight booking. Any file you want to merge it. Okay, okay, open. Okay. Okay. Now, okay. So, like this, all uh, it remains to also now, have now, to now, merge. Now, yeah, yeah, just a moment. Huh? Now, two yeah, sure. object repository are there in a single object repository. Now, save it. No. Click on save. Uh, save. save. Now okay. this will be your oh. master object repository for the two actions, oh, right? Okay. In the same object repository folder, I am saving it as ah, yeah, master, master object repository. Ah, yeah. Is it fine? Uh, yes, yes. Save. Save. Okay. Now save. Save it. Hmm. Now again hmm. merge it. Okay. Um, tools. Tools. It's now, now set, the set. two object repository are having all the objects in a single object repository. That is ma master. Master, object, right? Okay. In settings, no. No, not in setting. 
Okay, shall I close this? Ah, one? yes, yes. Okay, tools, object with merge tool, and remaining two also I have to merge. Two, it. Ah, right, into the master one. So first okay, login, login and try looking done. So right. log off. Ah. Do one thing now. Now this time take log out the the other two which you need to merge. Yes, yes. The remaining two and ah, select. Merge it. Okay, done. Now save it. Now give the name as master one. The same thing. Ah. Now give the name as master one. Now one I have to specify. Ah, master one, right? No, the different. Yeah, the different file name I have to give now. Ah, yes, yes. That's why master one. Okay, means currently there are two shared object repositories, right. master now over we'll, and master over one. Ah, Save. Okay. We'll, um, now we will merge master one and master. Okay. Now it, it so will I give you a. Close off. this one. Hmm. Okay. Object uh, repository merge two. So it became one. Hmm. Now, okay. Now save it as. Okay. Close. Now. Close. Ah, save. Save it with the name. Ah, save. Give that name you wanted to do. Give it. <laughs> master. This, ah, master. this will master master, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> save. Okay. So now this one is having all the four. Actions object repository. Right now, this is your shared object repository, which can you you can use across the application of your Mercury web application. And now, when, okay. whenever you want to add any object, you need to add object in this only. Okay, in shared object repo, uh, ah. master master object ah. repository. Now, if you want oh. to add it, any object. Now, now, if you want to use it under different action, you have to associate this object repository. Okay, fine. Uh, and one more thing, uh, Sumit. Hmm. Actually, uh, uh, you said in the law, uh, thing that when uh, by passing the values, use the data table uh, parameterization. So okay. wherever username or these things are coming, I have used the data table. Here you can see action one. Uh, right. So like that, I have used it for all the four things. Right. Uh, yeah. Let me show the screen. This one is completed. Flight booking, yeah. In this login one, only till login I have selected. In flight booking, I got out whether to select only the flight booking part only or from right no, from what? login no, to why, flight why booking. No, why, why, why we need to pass the login thing? We are doing flight okay. booking, oh. right? Each function okay. should be independent. In that way, you have to write your code. Each function is okay. Okay. wherever you want to call it, I can like call step it. Like a step-by-step. Ah, right. Like a step-by-step. Like, right. Okay, fine. And so now if be, I will... There should uh, be yeah. no dep no dependency between different action. If I am using login, I can use it. There will be no part of flight booking. Okay. Uh, so now if I will change this flight booking part, it will be automatically the changes will be affected in the shared object repository as well, right? No. If you are deleting, right, you will delete some part yeah. of code, right? No. Yes, if yes. you want to delete, no, it will not delete automatically. Okay, if you line, if okay. you delete the line, the object will be present there. No need to worry. It, it, it will not harm you. Okay, so I can delete it. Ah, no yeah, you can delete. It. You can delete. It. Okay, so log out only log out part is there, and profile create action only profit. Okay. Yes. And yes. in the main script you have given right. In the main script I have ah. used the call to action, call to uh, existing action you have to use. Yes, one second. Let me maximize it. Yeah, are you able to see this one? Yeah, it's very. Can you maximize can, it? Can you maximize it? Is it okay? Ah, Shall yeah. I, Hi, right, some, right, uh, right, right. Yeah. I can see. Yeah, in the main script one folder I have created main script hmm. test. In ah. that one I have called Pardon? all right. these uh, login, right. flight booking, logout, profile creation. Right. So is it correct? Yes, it's correct. It's, it's Oh. Very good. Okay. In this way, only I want all to be done. Okay. So till uh, week three, I have done. So today, whatever you told, I have to, I have implement, to implement in the same thing. Oh, yeah. I have missed the assignment actually. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have seen that one in the assignment thing. You ask it to implement the checkpoints thing. Ah, right. So okay, I'll, wherever I'll, pause. Ah, mm. uh, where wherever applicable, implement the checkpoints and output checkpoint for live project and expected result. Okay, means like this for uh, example, we say login. Let's take for an example. Ah. So login, we have to uh, check if it is passing the value correctly or not. Yes, yes. And Everything you so need to check. Apply. I have, I have in the okay. test cases, I have mentioned there what you need to check for which test okay, case. Okay, fine. Well, I have written mm -hmm. all the expected test cases, right? Expected result. Okay. Yes, yes. You all need to check that the things. Okay. Okay, fine. And last thought, actually the. Links thing, there is one test case to count the number of links. Ah, so right. uh, in these actions only we have to write the, that code. Uh, you or can, in the main wrapper. In the, no, no. Wrap, in the wrapper it will not be there, right? Wrapper is just okay. for initializing Call. and opening. Right? Okay, only init okay. It only will be a separate action. You create a, a separate action. For counting okay, the number of links. Action? I have created, okay, we have to name it as. Uh, yeah. I have given a separate test case, right? So it will be a separate action. Okay, like uh, counting links. Like ah, counting links. Ah, yeah, you action. can see. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and put that code in that thing only yes. for counting that from which yes. page we have to count. Yes. Okay. Okay. So till now it is fine, right? Right, right. After that, we will. Yeah, Sumit, actually, I want to do certification also. So hmm. uh, I will get support. Uh, how to do the certification as well? Uh, yeah, I'll give you a support. Don't worry about that. But 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 my recommendation yeah. is after <laughs> practicing for two to three months, you will okay. you go okay. for the certification. And I'll okay. provide you the I'll provide you the information for that as well. In the Google itself, you can find out what all the institute which which uh, which do this course, which offer this courses, uh, which offer this certifications. There are n number of institutes which you can find it into the Google, and you okay. have, and there you have to go and pay the fees, and you have they will give you other certain dates. On that date, mm -hmm. you have to go there and do the and get need to get the uh, test. Like a prometric uh, test right, center. Right, 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 right. Prometric test center. You have to go there, and then they will give okay. you, give you a certain ID and password. Then you have to log in into it, and then your test will be started. And once you are done okay. with that, with one you you are done with that test, then it will give you that how much you have scored and whether you are passed or failed. Then at that time okay. it will give you a temporary kind of uh, uh, test mark sheet, and then afterwards after two or three months you will get the certificate. Okay, Sumit, so is it lifetime valid? No, it will. It is not lifetime valid. It is valid for one year no. or two years, something like that only. Only oh, one or two years. Okay. Yes. But it it will be uh, uh what is the value added only, right? Yes, At yes. It will be valid in the, in the CV itself. You mention it, right? You have done the certificate. Yes, yes. That's mm -hmm. it. They will not check if uh, when no. I have written and uh, it <laughs> can be checked. But if if they can check, then you t tell them that I have done this in this this and the validity expires. That's it. But I have done right. Oh, oh. You can say like and this, right? Is it, yes, yes, you are right. Um, and it will be multiple choice only. Yes, it will be multiple choice questions only. You are having dumps as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whatever I have, I I'll email you. Don't worry. And in okay. the Google yeah. itself, you will find a lot of dumps. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. So your recommendation is after completing this course and live project yes. and getting some one month experience, then go no, for the certificate. No, no, at least not one month. I'll recommend you at least for two months. Two, practicing, two. Yeah. practicing one day, one hour daily. Yeah, sure. C conditions sure. applied. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Once I'm confident enough. Yes, yes. Because it is a waste mm -hmm. of money else, right? Yes, you're right. You and it will charge and... nearly eight thousand like that. Right, right, right. right. Eight, eight, eight to ten thousand. It will they will charge. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Okay. Okay. Okay, Sumit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. We'll yeah, meet you tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. So be there on time. And sure. don't miss the class. Okay. <laughs> sure. Sure, yeah. Sumit. <laughs> okay, okay, and yeah. please, please uh, send us some feedback. Okay. Yes, sure, sure. I will be doing that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thanks. Ciao. Bye. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Have a nice day. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Bye.